We've had quite a lot of rain the last few days and that's that's stopped me from doing quite a few jobs that I wanted to get on with. Uh, this morning I, I wanted to fit the, the spot lamps, the LED spot lamps that I bought for the for the van and it was pouring down with rain and I just thought if I don't get out there and do it, it's just going to get put off and put off. So I got out there this morning and I did that and I got drenched, literally drenched, but I got them fitted. Um, unfortunately I didn't capture much footage of me actually doing the fitting so I can't really put a, together a, a video showing that but I can show you some highlights of, uh, of the, the lights now that they are fitted um, and there is a bit of footage of course of me doing some of the install under the engine um, it wasn't particularly complicated to install the lights um, it just needed a little bit of research first for example you know the lights are wired up at the front of the vehicle but somehow I need to get that cable in through the firewall past the firewall uh, into the cab for the switch. I wanted to run them off a switch. I didn't want to run them off uh, off the existing lights. Uh, so that was a bit of a challenge, but I managed to find somewhere to uh, poke a hole through and get that in. Um, then the switch itself, you know, I needed to just double check I was wiring that up properly. Um, and that, that works fine now. Um, I had to find somewhere to mount the switch. I didn't want to particularly uh, like make a big hole in the dashboard uh, so I've quite cunningly removed some of the blank switch plates that were there um, and I've, I've utilized two slots to fit one big switch um, so you know in the future if I ever wanted to use those auxiliary switches or spare switches for anything they could still be used I could remove that switch and put them back in um, the the 12 volt LED lamps they only pull 15 watts um, the, you know they're quite low low power so I wasn't worried too much about fitting those to the starter battery um, you know they'll be fine on that um, and of course they switch so they're not going to be on all the time either this is a TV aerial an indoor TV aerial it's literally literally paper thin 